Director Mueller, the President has repeatedly claimed that your report found there was no obstruction and that it completely and totally exonerated him. But that is not what your report said, is it? Correct. That is not what the report said. And now reading from page two of volume two of your report that's on the screen, you wrote, quote, if we had confidence after a thorough investigation of the facts that the president clearly did not commit obstruction of justice, we would so state. Based on the facts and the applicable legal standards, however, we are unable to reach that judgment, close quote. Now, does that say there was no obstruction? No. In fact, you were actually unable to conclude the president did not commit obstruction of justice. Is that correct? Well, we, uh, uh, at the outset, uh, determined that we, uh, when it came to the, uh, the, the president's culpability, uh, we, needed to, uh, we, needed, we needed to go forward only after taking into account the OLC opinion that indicated that a president, a sitting president, cannot be uh, indicted. So the report did not conclude that he did not commit obstruction of justice. Is that correct? That is correct. And what about total exoneration? Did you actually totally exonerate the president? No. Now, in fact, your reports expressly states that it does not exonerate the president. It does. And your investigation actually found, quote, multiple acts by the president that were capable of exerting undue influence over law enforcement investigations, including the Russian interference and obstruction investigations. Is that correct? Correct. Now, Director Mueller, can you explain in plain terms what that finding means so the American people can understand it? Well, uh, the finding indicates that uh, the president uh, uh, was not, uh, uh, that the president was not exculpated, uh, exculpated uh, for the acts that uh, he allegedly committed.